Lozano trails Jorge Garcia, 27.05 for Jorge Garcia, 25.85 for Kyle Asano. On the women's side, it is Margaret Hewlett over Carol Ulrich, 19.05 to 18.475. And speaking of the women, they are up next on the balance beam. They have already competed on the vault. They've already competed on the uneven parallel bars. And now this is the third of four rotations. The round off back handspring onto the beam. One of the first girls to do that in America was Tracy Talavera. Okay, she's setting up for an acro series. Back handspring, layout, little wobble there, but it was very high. Stand. She lowers down. The judges need to see the gymnast not only working in full point on top of the beam, they need to see full turns. They need to see the gymnast working down low on the beam. Swing through layout, nicely done. Another one, beautiful combination. And steady. I think she could use a little more amplitude in her leaps. She's getting by with them, but she needs to be a little more explosive and perhaps shoot for a little more air time. Oh, that's a nice combination. A split leap to a punch front one and a half dismount. That's a mixed series, one of the things the judges are looking for. Something else I think Margaret could work on is probably her smile and her upper body posture. She had her, her mouth open throughout and very focused and concentrated, but she really should show a little bit more presence to the judges. This is a really original dismount, a split leap right to a punch front one and a half. I like that. She showed good spirit and good originality with that move. And, and difficulty. That's hard to do. Yeah, this is hard. Split leap, boom, punch front one and a half. Good job. She had lots of trouble on the landing, but a really unique, a unique idea. Nine point six, the score for Margaret Hewlett on the balance beam. Now, Carol Ulrich will try to better that mark. Carol's very proud to have received the perfect 10 you just saw on your television screen in a high school meet here in Colorado. She received several after the first. Well, she has very pretty leaps and a nice combination right off the bat of gymnastic elements. Flip-flop, flip-flop layout. Good job, fighting it. I'll tell you what I do like about her up there. She's very tight. I mean, the legs are, are straight and strong. The toes are pointed. It counts for a lot, that terrific leg extension, as you mentioned, in terms of just overall impression. Once she's fulfilled all the requirements, like she did the full turn, she's showing work low on the beam. She's showing gymnastic series, a mixed series, as she did earlier, a round off to a split leap. You're right, it's those little things that make the difference. Look at tremendous extension on the switch leg split leap. Oh, she was short on that layout, and I thought she could have stayed on. I don't know what happened there. I agree, I think she could have fought that. It's hard to say, maybe we'll see it from a different angle later, but I'm not really sure what happened there. She was short. Round off, double full. Good dismount. It's a shame she had trouble there because that was going beautifully and she knows it. You see the expression on her face. Oh, she's disappointed. I mean, despite the difficulty that she's having, I'm very impressed with her. And she has some really good elements. Back handspring, back handspring to a layout. Good fight as she keeps in balance. I wonder if she let down a little bit. The routine was going so beautiful. This is the only trick at the end she had to worry about. I don't know what happened there. She was a little short on rotation. She did her best to fight it, but no way she could stay on. She finished with a good round off to a double full. It's too bad she had trouble there because it was going beautifully. 
And the score she receives is 8.95. When you add five tenths for the fall, she'd be up to the 9.45 range. She's really a strong performer and shouldn't be crying at all. She's a strong gymnast. Right now, 8.95 for Carol Ulrich on the balance game. Now we are ready to move back to the men's competition. You are looking at Jorge Garcia. He is ready to vault. Again, the men only vault once. Yeah, men's vaulting, it's one shot. You got to do it. Here we go. Handspring, pike front. Oh, he was in really good position. He had good height, good distance. I think he just misjudged the landing. Jorge Garcia currently is on top. This is important to notice here. This is a blind landing. You don't see the floor until right when your feet just about make contact. It's a very difficult vault to really spot the landing on. When you're flipping backward, you can see the landing much earlier, but you'll notice he doesn't see the landing. Let's spot it. He goes over twice right there as his feet pass in front of him. He won't even see the landing until they're just about on the ground. Jorge Garcia receives an 8.70. Now remember, the edge that he has over Kyle Osano is 1.20. If Kyle Asana could throw a stronger ball, he can narrow that gap considerably. Pretty good job. Except for sloppy feet. The feet were <laughs> apart and those weren't, you know, kind of flexed. Clean up the form a little bit, and he's a strong vaulter. That'll certainly keep him in the running in this competition. You see what he does here? He does a round off on. This vault is actually called Kasamatsu. He does a good job at fighting the landing. It's sort of a piked position. It wasn't quite laid out. I think he was trying to do it laid out. But as you mentioned, the body positions weren't really precise. No, that's kind. His legs were apart and his toes were flexed. But he does narrow the gap between himself and Jorge Garcia. 9.15 for Kyle Osano. Jorge Garcia only had an 8.70.